So hi there grade 6 pupils, welcome back again to another video lesson. So we are now on the second part of our video lesson for week 5. So yung first part po natin is yung multiplying or multiplication of decimals and mixed decimals. So syempre after nating i-discuss yung process on how to multiply decimals and mixed decimals, the next video lesson has something to do with Solving routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of decimals and mixed decimals, including money. So, and then after ng video lesson na to, meron tayong kasunod na video lesson, which is yung uh, solving multi-step problems. Wherein involved dun yung uh, other operations like addition and subtraction. So, for our lesson objectives, at the end of this video lesson, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of decimals and mixed decimals including money. So, yun po yung ating uh, lesson objective. So, let's have the first problem. Lisa is working in a restaurant. Her hourly rate is 52 pesos and 75 centavos. If she works for a total of 48 hours in a week, what is her total earnings? So for this uh, first problem, so as you can see, si Lisa po ay nagtatrabaho sa isang restaurant. And then, kada oras, ang kanyang kinikita ay 52 pesos and 75 centavos. And then given din dyan yung kung ilang oras nagtatrabaho or nagtrabaho si Lisa in a week. So, ang tanong natin, what is her total earnings? So, let's have the steps in solving word problem. So, our first step, that is to understand. Then, let us identify what is asked and what are given. So, what is asked muna tayo? So, ang tinatanong dito is yung uh, total earnings. of Lisa. For working 48 hours in a week. So, yan ang hinahanap natin. Ano yung total nakita ni Lisa for that uh, for one week. And then next naman, what are given so, what are given? So, susulat natin dyan yung early rate ni Lisa, which is 52 pesos and 75 centavos. Next one is yung uh, total number of working hours. Total number of working hours is 48 hours. So, yan po yung ating given. Next, second step, we have plan. So, what is or are the operation or operations to be used? So, since inahanap natin yung total earnings natin ni Lisa dito, so, makukuha lang po natin yon kung multiply natin yung yung hourly rate, hourly rate ni Lisa dun sa total number of working hours niya which is 48. So, our operation is multiplication. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Multiply 52 pesos and 75 centavos by 48 hours to get the total earnings of Lisa in one week. So for the third step, we have to uh, determine or write the number sentence, show the solution in the complete answer. So, for our number sentence, 
So that is 52 pesos and 75 cents times 48 hours equals N. So ayan, imumultiply lang po natin yung 52 pesos and 75 cents by 48. And then, makukuha na natin yung total earnings ni Lisa in a week. So, 52.75 times 48. So, dito tayo sa 8 muna. So, 8 times 5, we have 40. So, rewrite 0 and then regroup natin yung 4. So, 7 times 8, 56, plus 4, that is 60. So, we write 0, and then carry 6. 2 times 8, we have 16, plus 6, 22. So, sulat natin 2, and then carry 2. 5 times 8, we have 40, plus 2, 42. Sulat natin 42. Next, dito naman tayo sa 4. 4 times 5, we have 20. So, sulat natin 0 and then carry 2. 7 times 4, we have 28 plus 2, 30. So, 0 and then carry 3. 2 times 4, we have 8 plus 3, 11. So, sulat natin 1 and then carry 1. 5 times 4, we have 20 plus 1, 21. And then for our last step, add lang po natin. So 0, bring down. 0 plus 0, we have 0. 2 plus 0, that is 2. 2 plus 1, we have 3. 4 plus 1, we have 5. And then bring down 2. And then, bilangin natin yung number ng decimal places. So dito sa 52.75, we have 2. So, magmove tayo ng 2 decimal places to the left. So, starting dito sa 0, 1, 2. So, our final answer is 2,532 pesos. So, ayan. So, what is that 2,532 pesos? So, yan po yung total earnings ni Lisa in a week. So, yung complete answer natin, Pwede natin isulat na, therefore, Lisa's total earnings in a week is 2,000 pesos, ay 2,532 pesos. So, for the last step, check and look back. Is your solution correct? So, pwede naman nating balikan, i-double check yung ating uh, solution. And then, pwede rin nating i-apply yung division. So, since hindi pa natin na-discuss yung division, so, ang gawin na lang natin is, i-double check or triple check natin yung solution. Anyway, kung may uh, idea naman kayo regarding division of decimals, ang gagawin nyo lang naman, Yung 2,532 pesos na nakuha natin kanina na sagot, i-divide nyo lang po by 48. And then, kailangan ang makuha nyo pong sagot is 52 pesos and 75 centavos yung hourly rate ni Liza. So, let's have problem number 2. Mario is a taxi driver. If his average speed is 76.25 kilometers per hour, how many kilometers will he travel for 5.4 hours? So let's have the first step. Identify what is asked and what are given. So what is asked? So what is asked? The total distance... Traveled by Mario's car in 5.4 hours. So, yan ang inahanap natin. Next, what are 
given So yung una natin dito is yung average speed of the car which is 76.25 kilometer per hour kilometers per hour and then yung ating ano naman uh, time Five point four hours. So next, what is or are the operations to be used? So since sinahanap natin yung kung ilang kilometro ang naitakbo ni Mario, na kung saan yung average speed niya is seventy six point twenty five kilometers sa loob ng five point four hours. So we will use multiplication. So, ang gagawin po natin dito, multiply 76.25 kilometers per hour by 5.4 hours. So, kailangan natin i-multiply yung average speed, which is 76.25 kilometers per hour, dun sa time, which is 5.4 hours para malaman natin kung ilan ang kilometers, how many kilometers ang na-travel niya. So, for our number sentence, 76.25 times 5.4 equals N. So, multiply lang po natin. 76.25 by 5.4 So, dun muna tayo sa 4. So, 4 times 5, we have 20. So, we'll write 0 and then carry 2. 2 times 4, we have 8 plus 2, 10. So, write 0, carry 1. 6 times 4, we have 24 plus 1, 25. So, 5 and then we write 2. 7 times 4, 28, plus 2, 30. So, dito naman tayo sa 5. 5 times 5, we have 25. So, we write 5 and then carry 2. 2 times 5, we have 10, plus 2, 12. So, we write 2 and then carry 1. 6 times 5, we have 30, plus 1, 31. So, we write 1 and then carry 3. 7 times 5, that is... 35 plus 3, 38. And then finally, we add. So bring down 0. 0 plus 5, we have 5. 5 plus 2, we have 7. 0 plus 1, 1. 3 plus 8, we have 11. So sulat natin, uh, 1 and then carry 1. 1 plus 3, we have 4. And then bilangin ngayon natin yung uh, number of decimal places. So, dito sa 76.25, meron tayong dalawa. Dito naman sa 5.4, we have 1. So, in total number of decimal places na imumove natin is 3. So, from 0 going uh, to the left, 3 decimal places, we have 1, 2, 3. So, our final answer is 411.75 75 or 411 and 75 hundreds kilometers. So, sulat natin yung ating complete answer. Therefore, the total distance traveled by Mario's car In 5.4 hours is 411.75 kilometers. So, para i-double check yung sagot, 
pwede nating i-divide yung nakuha nating sagot na 411.75 kilometers by 5.4 hours. And then, kailangan ang makuha po natin is yung average speed, 76.25 kilometers per hour. So, for our last problem, Ben is selling his 21.25 kilograms of bananas in the market. Each kilogram of bananas cost 62 pesos and 50 cents. Assuming all the bananas were sold, how much is his profit? So, meron pong binibentang 21.25 kilograms of bananas si Ben. And then, kada kilo ng banana is 62 pesos and 50 centavos. So, assume daw natin na yung mga bananas ay nabenta. Lahat ng mga banana, uh, bananas na tinitinda ni Ben ay nabenta. So, ang tanong dito, magkano ang kinita niya? Yung profit. So, the, for the first uh, step, let us identify what is as and what are given. So, what is as? The total profit of Ben in selling his 21.25 kilograms of banana. Next, what are given? So, yung given natin dito, 21.25 kilograms of bananas and then 62 pesos and 50 centavos. Ito yung price of 1 kilo of banana. Next step, what is or are the operations to be used? So, ganun pa rin, multiplication. So, we're going to multiply 21.25 kilograms by 62 pesos and 50 centavos to get the total profit. Of Ben. So, let's have the third step. So, write the number sentence. So, 21.25 times 62 pesos and 50 centavos. That is equal to N. So, let us multiply. So, 21.25 or 21 and 25 hundredths times 62 pesos and 50 centavos. So, zero muna tayo. So, sulat natin apat na zero. And then, doon naman tayo sa 5. So, 5 times 5, we have 25. So, sulat natin 5 and then carry 2. 2 times 5, we have 10 plus 2. 12, so write 2, then carry 1. 1 times 5, we have 5 plus 1, 6. And then 5 times 2, we have 10. So we write 10. Next, dun tayo sa 2. 2 times 5, we have 10. So we write 0, and then carry 1. 2 times 2, we have 4 plus 1, so 5. And then 2 times 1 naman, that is 2. 2 
times 2 naman, 4. Finally, dun tayo sa 6. 6 times 5, we have 30. So, we write 0 and then carry 3. 3, uh, 6 times 2, we have 12. Plus yung 3 na kineri natin. So, we have 15. So, write 5 and then carry 1. 6 times 1, we have 6 plus 1, 7. And then, finally, 6 times 2, we have 12. And then, final step, we add. Bring down 0. 0 plus 5, we have 5. 2. Uh, 0 plus 2 plus 0, we have 2. 6 plus, uh, 6 plus 5, that is 11. So, we write 1 and then carry 1. 1 plus 2 plus 5, we have 8. 1 plus 4, 5. Plus 7, 12. So, we write 2 and then carry 1. 1 plus 2, we have 3. And then, uh, bring down 1. So, last step, uh, bilangin po natin yung uh, decimal places. So, number of decimal places. So, dun sa 21.5, 25, meron tayong dalawa. Same with 62.50. Dalawa, dalawa, dalawa din. So, the total number of decimal places that places that we are going to move is 4. So, starting from 0, going to the left, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So, our final answer, 1,000 328 and 125 centavos na pwede po nating i-round up. So, i-round up natin yun. 1,328 pesos and 13 centavos. Therefore, Ben's total profit in selling bananas is 1,328 pesos and 13 centavos. So, to check our solution, inakuha natin na 1,328 pesos and 125 centavos or 13, i-divide lang po natin sa 21.5. 25 kilograms. And then, kailangan ng makuha po natin is yung 62 pesos and 50 centavos na price ng isang kilo ng banana. So, for the next video lesson, we shall now proceed to solving multi-step problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction of decimals, mixed decimals, and whole numbers including money. So, ngayon, diniscuss lang po kasi natin is uh, problems involving multiplication of decimals. So, next video lesson naman, meron na pong uh, dalawang operations na involved. Maaring addition o kaya naman subtraction.